everybody, and welcome to Comic Camera Movie Show. And today we are a little bit reacting to something that I revealed to them. There is a new Mafia 3. I hope you decided to join us this time around. <laughs> yeah, I get not. Anyway, guys, well, um, since we didn't get any feedback on Mark's position, I guess he's a part of this group now, so I guess you guys really liked him. <laughs> and he's going to be our anime specialist, since we got Deshaun, the movie specialist, me, the gaming specialist, and him, now the anime specialist. Konnichiwa. Um, it, sir. I don't even know what the hell that was, actually. You're not me neither. I thought you said something else. Konnichiwa, <laughs> Deshaun Senpai. I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. So what? So anyway, what are you? So what, Mark? What's your thoughts on the new Mafia Three? I mean, I played like a bit of Mafia Two <laughs> as my experience, <laughs> but I mean, if it's any good, I'll probably get it because I yeah. Well, actually, the setting is instead of being in the fifties like this one was, it's going to be in the seventies and uh, the like deep down south, like Louisiana, hmm. because like well, you it's like you look at the trees. Well, no, I meant well, I meant like when you look well, at the there trees. Is called the KKK. That's not a mafia, though. That's that's a mafia. That's not a mafia. That's an extremist group. <laughs> Different scenario. Don't don't bring that up. Don't bring that up. So, it takes place in like Louisiana, somewhere down south in a swampy area because of the trees. Mm -hmm. swamp. And it takes place in the seventies because of the cars. So it's actually I'm, a, I'm a, the cars emulate like the late nineteen sixties, early nineteen seventies. That's what. But since games comes tomorrow, we will bring another video to you guys about more about it because this is like the worldwide reveal. The camera angle is really weird. Sorry, people. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys. Um, so what's your opinion on this? I played the first one and the second one. I I didn't finish any of them, but they seem kind of cool. I mean, I didn't really get into it. Into it. It right. felt too. I don't know if honestly Grand Theft, but it did kind of give me a Grand Theft vibe, and I was just like, mm. but we all love GTA Five. We know that. Yeah, but I don't know. I just didn't really get into it. Maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be more interesting if they did like the mafia. I mean, ain't, isn't the Yakuza technically like Japanese mafia? Oh, uh, the Yakuza. Yeah, yeah, they're technitally a Japanese I think that would be an interesting game. Well, I mean, they're, that kind of is, like the Triads and Sleeping Dogs. Yeah. I like triad, that. dude, the Triads are so... But the Triads are a little bit more deep. They're, I think they're, they're, they're still... So, no, they're like they're like 2,000 years old. Dude. Really? They're that deep. They're, they're old. Deep. They're ancient. That's how old Aren't they, they still are. Aren't they still like the Mafia, though, in a way? They are. They're like, yeah, they're like they're the Chinese the, version I, of the Mafia. But here's the thing. The Triads have like... I mean, like, when you say Triads, there's like... There's a, as in more than one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of different triads, but they're all interconnected somehow. I don't know. The whole thing is really mysterious because, like, I actually, all, well, all the documentaries I watched on them were, like, I don't believe the people because I think they're full of shit. <laughs> because it's just like, why would you give away that kind of information when you can, when all the tribes have to do is fly over here, kill, kill you, you, and go back? <laughs> Yeah, but it's I mean, like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, but I remember the thing in Yakuza, how if you made a mistake, you had to cut your finger off. Yeah. Or, yeah, I'll just... I remember that one finger. dude had, like, numb. Like, I was like, oh, man, how many... I mean, ten times the fuck? You know, back in World War II, if you if you were going to lose in battle, you'd have to kill yourself. They wouldn't let you be captured. You, you have to die. That's actually ancient Japanese culture. That's not just... I thought it was just, the, I thought it was just nope. a war. That was the samurai class from way back a long time ago. So instead of being captured, you just died. No, no actually, no, here, no, here, no. Here's the thing. The whole saying was, you come back with your head or without it. Oh, damn. That was the whole samurai thing. If you won the battle, you were honored, you were glorified, oh, all the blah, 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 blah. You I lost the battle, but you survived the, the defeat. Huh? That's <laughs> why I kind of thought it would be an interesting game if they had, like, I'm not saying made a mafia in there, but, like, yeah. with the Yakuza in Japan, because there's not a game. I don't think there's many real, like, world games in Japan. Not, like, crazy, like, actual that's Japan. Kind of cool. Yeah. With the well, actual well, well, crime. Well, well, there's, like, Total War Shogun, but that's about it. Huh? Oh, I mean, they were thinking about, dude, like, you know, Sleeping Dogs is actually a spin-off of uh, another game. That's true Crime. Yeah, it's yeah. a spin-off of True Crime. It's supposed to be True Crime, mm -hmm. but then True Crime, oh, the people who made True Crime went bankrupt and they couldn't do it anymore. So the people actually, actually so they revamped it or... instead of being well, it was going to be true crime Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and then they said, right. "All right, well now we'll add the triads and we'll add you know the cops again." So we'll keep yeah, the... we I never played Sleeping Dogs. But I never played. I was Sleep... tempted to. I was Sleeping tempted Dogs to. is a really good game. Trust me, I, I played it. it. It's it's like a I thought it was a really good game. I liked it. It, made, story, it, made, it made me feel like an action cop. Like if you were a fan of like action movies and like mm -hmm. just yeah. old school classic action. I love how you get to use the environment as weapons and like, old school classic it's like, action. It's like you shove a guy into like a um, mm -hmm. into like um, this little like desk thing and then you yes. close the shutter on him. There's All right, guys. One. <laughs> we have gotten so far. From yeah, that. yeah. Okay, so my at least I'm sorry. Reveal yeah. tomorrow. Will be revealed tomorrow at GamesCon. Now, whether the, now um, since Mark will be busy tomorrow, he won't be able to do it. So on Thursday, we'll come back and we'll give you a video, hopefully with my brother as a special guest. How are we fitting that guy in here, too? Skype, probably. <laughs> I was about to say. 
<laughs> We're probably going to do it through Skype. Well, I mean, he's going to probably tell me how to do it. He's probably has got some cool way that he can help us do it because he knows that. Because he knows a thing or two about video recording. You know what I'm saying? Because, dude, I'm so I'm tired than everyone else in here. You guys are going to squish me. Well, that's... <laughs> Sorry. Well, he's not going to be physically here. Yeah. He's going to be uh, like a little... I said Skype. Skype. He's going to be, be Skype. Like, he's going to be in the corner. Saying. He lives in Pennsylvania. He's I'm saying, gonna... like, it's glad he'll be that's in Skype. That's a long ride. <laughs> yeah. I'm like... here. <laughs> yeah, okay. just to get sit here for like an hour or two, then it's Yeah, then he gets. <laughs> what that big time? Oh, God, I couldn't handle that. Anyway, so guys, thank you for joining us on Comic Game Movie Show. And the next video we will bring you is our Deadpool teaser discussion. So, we will see you in the next one. Jenny.